Hello everybody and welcome back to our Stellaris Nemesis DLC and the 3.0 Let's Play. So, uh, picking up where we left off at the end of the last episode. Real quick, wanted to say thank you for the comments on the last episode. It is greatly appreciated. Please do keep those coming. One of those comments said that, hey, when you get done with your next engineering research, make sure you pop back into your situation log and do not forget about this submerged cruiser. It could give you an advantage in the war, uh, or the eventual war, that we're going to have with the Slurpinar Coalition down here. So, I think we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and get that started. Uh, we'll pop in here to that research, which we just finished Starhold. Uh, and we'll go ahead and select Fusion Missiles, but it's not going to start until we finish that submerged cruiser. Um, here, yeah, let's grab the tile blockers, and that is going to be okay. I uh, wanted to really quickly say that this episode is being recorded... Not directly after the last one, uh, but less than 24 hours after the previous episode. So if you've left a comment, there's a chance that I have not seen it as of this recording. Um, I will try to get to that comment and I will respond to you, but it will not be reflected uh, in this episode. Uh, this next episode after this one will be recorded immediately after this one as well. So same thing for that. I will get your comments as of three episodes from now. So the question we really need to face in this episode as we get things kicked off here is... When and how do we go to war with the Slipperner Coalition? Because we do need to go to war with them. We need to deal, uh, not a death blow, uh, but we need to deal a, a heavy hit to them and essentially knock them out of this campaign um, before this campaign really, really gets too late into it. They are currently equivalent, so I'm not sure they could be slightly stronger, they could be slightly inferior fleet-wise. From what our sensors can see, they don't have any defensive stations here. But unfortunately, we don't, we, we can't see. We just can't see in there. Um, so it may take some scouting at the beginning of the war. And heck, if these are defended, we may just have to hold here and pray they don't overrun us. And the other thing that we do have to worry about, uh, if we take a look here, they do have a defensive pact with these guys. So these guys are unknown fleet-wise to us, but my guess is they are at least equivalent. So if they get pulled into the war, uh, that's going to make things pretty interesting. Okay, so this is that precursor event chain. Uh, the crew of the CNS, the crew, the crew of the CNS ambassador were initially certain they had made a triangulation mistake when deducting the coordinates of the supposed bio colony in the Cursa system, having found nothing but asteroids worth a life-bearing planet. However, closer study of the asteroid's composition has revealed that they are in fact what remains of the former bio colony. The once lush planet was blown into several thousand rocky pieces by some unknown collision, uh, occurring roughly 7 million years ago. One particularly promising asteroid has been selected for further study, as it appears to possess a large number of fossilized life forms. Okay, so we now need to make a decision. Do we upgrade our defensive stations? Or our, uh, sorry, our starports to star holds? So an additional 5,000 hit points, additional modules, those cost 500 alloys, or, or, do we build our fleet up more? Um, one destroyer, so basically, for the cost of upgrading these guys, we could get two destroyers and one corvette, and we should upgrade these guys anyways, um, let's, let's do this, let's do that. Reinforcing will cost us 642. Alright, let's hold off on that. And let's go in here. Let's select our new research. Um, energy credits. Yes, that's the cheapest. Let's go with that. Um, other thing. I did realize that uh, there was shield nullification in here only because... Only because of the solar storm. Uh, yeah. This system doesn't actually have that. So, if you remember, we put armor buster defense stations here that ain't gonna work so we need to get rid of those and then we need to upgrade these guys um so they switch over to the other version because yeah that ain't gonna fly here all right the shattered biocomputer fossil we have managed to extract some data fragments from a particularly well-preserved bio biocomputer fossil a biocomputer fossil interesting this 10 million year old relic appears to Certain uh, pedagogical 
Petagy? Yeah, sure. Intended for immature members of the species, not yet ready to receive the full range of the hive mind's neural connection. Young bull or saplings were introduced to growth techniques or to culture and nutrition in a more curated experience. These findings suggest Bell Society prized terrestrial landscaping and ecosystem management and were also highly dependent on it for their survival. Intriguing. Uh, oh, we need to do a lot of this. All right, so in order to unlock another building slot, we do either have to upgrade our capital or we have to build, I believe, a city district, right? Yes, so a city district. So let's do this. Uh, building slots plus three. Yes, please. Generator world needs more jobs. This number can always go higher. Consumer goods, meh. We're sitting pretty good on minerals. We can always use more alloys and yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Um, here, nothing we can clear. We can have 49 minerals. Anything else we want to build on this particular planet? Amenities is a problem. Let's see, that's plus 20. Plus 5. Yeah, let's drop a hollow theater. That should fill that job as well. Uh, and then you on the aggro work. Plus 12 food. Housing of 4 extra. I can't clear any of that, really. Wow, okay. I guess it doesn't hurt to get robot assembly going. That'll take care of the job. Okay. Um. Okay, that was some tile blockers we got cleared up. Admin capacity and base intel level plus 10. I like that base intel level plus 10, and I guess this gets us closer to that. Tile blockers, meh. We should get those at some point. Um, but this is the cheapest. Let's just, let's roll through the cheapest technology. Let's just roll through that. Um, I, I, I do like, so let me say this. I like the intelligence system to the extent that I absolutely hate that I don't know what's going on elsewhere in the galaxy. Like, part of, and I guess eventually you get all that intel, but, and, it, and it's more realistic. But that being said, I really liked knowing that, I don't know, the Ithiel Multitude and the Adex Company have gone to war. And then I can pay attention to that, and then I'll get the pop-up that says, Oh, hey, by the way, they pieced out. Here's what happened. And I can go look at the repercussions on the map. Um, obviously, we get that for the people we know. Like, these guys. I guess we're kind of getting it to a certain extent. It's just, I like to see it on the map, you know? I, I, I don't know. I like to see it on the map. Let me know if that's kind of how you are in this game um, or if I'm absolutely batshit crazy because there's a distinct possibility um, that I'm batshit crazy. Um, okay, so we need to run some more ops against these guys. We need to run some more ops. We've leveled up enough that we have unlocked some more stuff. We can sabotage and we can steal technology. What are you good at? Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's... For now, let's acquire... Special project complete. We down to plus. Ugh. All right. So salvage mission on Dimmer Prime has succeeded. The ancient cruiser that lay at the bottom of the ocean has been resurfaced and repaired. It is a wondrous sight to behold. Uh, and from repairing it, our engineers have learned some of the secrets behind technology. So we got a cruiser. Boom. And our empire gains streamlined algorithms, which is what? Let's pause and take a look at that. Evasion plus 10%. Nice. Okay, so with these guys, I kind of want to acquire another asset. I kind of want to steal the technology. Which is, okay, that's going to be four months. Yeah, see the cost though. We got to get more credits going. Um, we, we really, really do need to get more credits going. Um, how long until you're ready for your next... Not very soon. Mm. All right, we'll hold off on that for just a minute. That being said, 1K. Oh, baby. Look at you. Yes. All right. So you and our main fleet are going to 
merge up. And I think that honestly should give us... Yeah, that should give us an advantage over these guys. So, I think... I think it is time... Time to go to war. Okay, um, archaeological site. So this is for the Shattered for our Precursor. The discovery of their agent by Baal... I'm going to say that different literally every time I read that dang word. Okay, uh, Biocomputer Remnant has yielded further insight into this planetoid hive mind's history. The Biol appear to have originated from a single planet, its location unknown as mere plant life. Prehistoric Biol were all clones of their parent plants and uh, gradually developed the capacity for hive consciousness over millions of years of slow, peaceful growth on the planet. So then why did they get blowed up? All right, birth of the galactic market. Understood. I don't think we'll be able to, but um, let's nominate this guy for the galactic market because why the hell not? All right, about to finish up our next tradition. So we get another ascension perk. Okay, so this now gives us better encryption. And if they use steel technology against us, it will always fail. And as previously, the debris from our ships uh, cannot be studied by other empires. Honestly, I think that's... I, I think that's the route we want to go with this. I think that's the route we want to go. Although additional envoys would be nice. I think shared destiny is going to be the third... Third thing that we grab. Unless you guys have other thoughts. And if you do, let me know that down in the comments. But I think we are going to need those envoys once we finish up this war. Start setting up networks in other empires. And then, obviously. We're going to become the Crisis. <laughs> Alright. Um, yes. No, not Nihilist Acquisition. Oh my god, I almost... Almost misclicked. Here we go. Enigmatic, Engin Enigmatic Engineering. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, boost to our energy credits. Very, very good. Let's get better deflectors. I'm a little bit wary walking into a war with crap deflectors, but um, but I guess it is what it is. All right, we'll come down here and then we'll sweep up this way. We need to start training armies. This is what we need to do. Inbound message traffic. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. I might be overdoing this, but we're going to get what one? Five, 15. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Come on. All right. So the Ubark Trade Association wants to establish an embassy. Get the fleet moving. Let's give those armies a chance to kick out. Um, We're going to rally all of you guys down here. Army, go. Army, go. We may need way more than that. Because that's what? 100, 200, yeah. All right, let's get another round going. Science division report success. I don't think their defenses are going to be that heavy, but uh, we've got the minerals for this. And, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have reinforcements if, God forbid, they do have a super, super, super defensed planet. Alright. Uh, ooh, oh, really? We get better miss- mm -hmm. Go back and upgrade. <laughs> of course. Um, we got better missiles, right, when we- Yeah, let's go get those better missiles. 48 months till shields. I don't think we should wait for that. Um, let's get better ion thrusters. All right, the shattered. Uh, the Gruner uh, data crystal has been recovered on X12956, dating to some 7 million years ago. Uh, the data crystal contains partially readable military records pertaining to the planet's invasion. Apparently, the Gruner were expecting some measure of armed resistance and were not impressed by the incredibly slow-moving bio. Uh, the record describes the ease with which the Bayol's delayed responses were circumvented, in a highly derogatory fashion. Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Get more generator districts going over here. 
Gotta get that cash. Gotta get that cash to to run all these ops. Yeah. All right. 447 to upgrade you guys. Why? Oh, the missiles. Right. Um, probably ought to. Let's at least upgrade you. And I guess we have the alloys. Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna have to hold the line here, might as well. Um, you are refitting right now? Yes. Okay. We're gonna get these better missiles, and then we are going... We're gonna go for it. And it may be a stupid idea, but we're gonna take advantage of the fact that we got that cruiser. Armies, go. Ships refitted? Yes. Uh, oh my god. I, I don't understand why they can't fix it to where every single freaking defense platform that upgrades gets that pop-up message. Like, I don't understand it, but whatever. All right, go. Well, you guys merge up. Oh, yeah, that's quite a list. That is quite a list. All right. Generals are basically useless, but... 5% more damage, I guess, won't be a bad thing. Alright, let's take a look at our fleet. As it, wait. Four ships will be up. You know what? Not worth it. We now need to go against time. Uh, and time... Time says we, we need to go. We need to go now. Let's get some more reinforcements flowing. Paused. Um, I feel like there was something we needed to vote on. Buzzword standardization. I pose that. Why? I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. Really could we keep running admin offices out of here. It's because we do need to get that under control and we are going to take quite a hit. I'm going to be the, the positive person here and say we're going to take a hit when we take all this territory. Um, so... Keep his four, though. Yeah, let's take that. That's fine. Food is now magically negative. Um, have we finished? No, we're working on the food processing facilities, right? Fleet's headed down. Assume this is a, yep, destroyer. Okay, did we ever actually look and see what that cruiser had? I don't think we did. Pause for a second and find it in here. Where are you? There you are. Um, alright, so we got small phase disruptors, tier 5. Oh, boy. Neutron launchers? Okay, yeah, no, we, we need to take advantage of that. We need to take advantage of that. Alright. Another job. More cash, please. Report success. <laughs> Every time I get the freaking fleet down here, we get better stuff. Oh my god. Okay. Um, actually. I, eh, we let's let's grab the gravitic sensors. I like better colony speed, but what are we colonizing at, at this point? Like we're not we're not colonizing anything, so. Okay. Technologically superior. Yeah, we need to jump these guys. Let's conquer. Standing by Claire War. Offensive operations. We don't know what's in these systems, which is unfortunate. But, uh, we're gonna frickin' go for it, man. Should've put him here, so, yeah, it's fine. These should be able to hold up against, hopefully, whatever they can throw at us. Let's upgrade them. Ships refitted. Ships refitted. Yeah, these are changing. Yeah, they are changing. Ships these are right. Okay. Defense platform. Oh yeah, nothing here. We'll we'll wipe this real quick. Okay, let's move over here. Um, 
They have a capacity from soldier jobs plus two. And right, let's go with some of those tile blockers. Yeah, let's do that. Plus 75 minerals. Eh. Engaging enemy station. Yeah, let's go with the industrial sector. I think that'll be all right. Construction complete. Yep, they didn't set up any defensive structures, so hopefully we can roll right through this. Armor ain't great. Somehow you've you've managed to get your armor messed up, but whatever. Oh, our marketing campaign on Unity has borne fruit, and the market powers that be have seen fit to centralize much of their activity within the Deneb system. Hey, nice. Just get on the market fee. I can't believe enemy station. that your armor is getting jacked up that much. Um, okay, what do we go into next? Uh, let's pause so we don't so we don't waste time in this war. Um, that's nice. The reduction of empire sprawl, starbase upkeep. Eh, it would have been nicer earlier. I think we want to go into prosperity next. Yes, let's go prosperity. I think it'll be fine. Down to 86% armor. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop over, hopefully get to this guy, then bounce back and repair. So, go. All right, what do we finish now? Uh, of course. Of course, better stuff for our ships. All right, so I misspoke earlier. Um, I thought, like, if we go to here, I thought it was the mineral... Purification hubs that gave additional um, output from the districts. It's actually not. Uh, if we pop in here to engineering, it's actually going to be the purification hubs. So when we upgrade to this, that's when we're going to get additional jobs. Uh, or not additional jobs, rather. Um, but more, more output and stuff like that. Yeah, each mining district on the planet provides plus one miner job. Yep. Right, ooh, pause. Let's go with the Corvette build speed and cost reduction. Or build speed increase cost reduction. Let's move up here. Take this, repair, then keep pushing. Uh, armies, let's get re prepared. Let's got down here to quiet dark. Don't have anything here. They do have a starbase here, but nothing over here. Um, remind me what I've claimed again. Okay, so that may be the one starbase we actually have to take. All right, now we're gonna take this opportunity to go repair one system away before we take our deeper dive into enemy territory. I'd like to get that back up to 100. Just, just so we're safe here. Uh, okay, the Shattered. Uh, another Grunar uh, data crystal has been unearthed, detailing a series of military orders, including the coordinates of another bio colony. New Third time's the charm. <laughs> All right, where's that gonna be? Uh, of course. Go research that project. All right. Okay, Agri World. We want to get food processing facilities, please, and thank you. Let's get repaired and get moving. Um, and because we can, let's just keep pumping ships into this. At sure, why the hell not? I mean, we might as well. 
Come on, get there, get there, get there. All right, we're good to go. Go, 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 go. And there's also a distinct possibility that they see our fleet power and they're not even going to risk their fleet. It's it's a, definitely a possibility. Uh, Formal bio colony, the silenced. Our researchers were excited to discover the location of the third colony corresponds to a planet still possessing an atmosphere. Yay. Uh, well, danger, danger, Dongar 2 does not seem particularly lush or remarkably resource laden. Our scientists are eager to begin a targeted excavation to search for any remnants of the Baal or the Garuner. Marvelous. Oh no, I have to. Crap. Okay. Um, build me those mining stations. And then, yeah, go build that star base so we can keep on that. Okay. On their fleets. Broken up into two. There's a 500 and a 1.1k coming at us. Let's go bust this. And hopefully we can break these guys. Are you waiting for your buddies here? You are. Now, you're in sensor range, but I cannot make heads or tail of you. But you've got, what, four destroyers and a bunch of corvettes. Okay. We definitely outnumber destroyers. Yeah, we should. Unless they have that much better technology. And granted, we've only got... Tier 1 shield installed. We I hope we're not in for a rude awakening. What I need to do I need to set up a shipyard somewhere down here in the south. Let's let those reinforcements come in. Merge up. Um, 94% is going to have to be good enough. Go. All right. First engagement with their fleet. Set up pretty nice. We can hit these guys. Hopefully take them out. Um, three destroyers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause. Here we go. Oh, absolutely plowed them. Oh my God. All right. They've got missiles too. I think we're going to be okay here. I mean, God forbid if we aren't. We're going to take some losses. That's that's for sure. Um, we do have enough money. We can buy up some alloys and, and replace those losses, though. Why is their hull point so high? Maybe just because of the station? Yeah, I think it's just because of the station. And we can research some of their debris. Oh, oh boy. All right. Um, let's get you down here while we can. Army, get to move in. By the time you get down here, we should have this system conquered. Or at least the station taken out. Um, What did we lose? Okay. Lost a bunch of Corvettes. Didn't lose anything big. All right. No, I'm good with that. Um, let's go to the market. Let's go alloys. And... By 1.2k. Let's fully reinforce you. Now, if I said repair, you go all the way back. Okay. Got a 684 here. That's their ally. It's definitely their ally. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, you know what? I didn't see if we actually destroyed those ships. I think we did. Get 
down here. Uh, we were in battle when you came off the... I can't believe they haven't fixed that, honestly. When the um, ships come off the line, when you're in a battle and they just sit in the system, they don't actually, like, go. Alright, so. I think we gotta repair. Yeah, we gotta do it. Army, we're gonna send you up, but there's a chance we might have to hold you. There's a chance. But yeah, these guys really need to repair. Division report success. All right. Better Corvette build speed, reduce cost. Minerals from miners, mineral service construction. Yeah, let's take the cheaper tech. I, I still am in a place where I think taking the cheaper tech nine times out of ten is the better idea to continue to advance. Unless you're looking for a very specific um, tech tree route that you're heading down. So, Ceramo Meta Empire Modifier, building slots plus one. Alright. We haven't built any of these guys. We don't have the crystals to do it. Let's go Gene Clinics. That's fine. I'm going to send you... Uh, okay. Chill there. Actually fall back a bit. I may have bit off more than I could chew with, uh, with all these claims. But I, to make this worth it, I need to take at least a couple of these planets. I really do. Now, can I see? No, I still can't. So if they're in, they're in sensor range, why... Why can I not see it? I'll take you guys falling back. That's fine. Cause we'll be back. Just we gotta we gotta repair a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Ship just got repaired, and we are about to dive back into enemy territory. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.